Good evening, I'm Alex Stierkman. The Putnamville Correctional Facility will host an open house at the prison's inmate-run horse farm Friday. WTIU's Amanda Soliday reports. Painting, sweeping, weeding. There's still quite a bit of work for the prisoners to do before the public visits the Thoroughbred Retirement Farm later this week. They uh, cut down the trees, they planed the boards, they built the barns, poured the concrete, uh, seeded the pastures, built the fencing, they've done it all. It's a joint effort of the Indiana Department of Corrections and the Thoroughbred Retirement Foundation, a nonprofit that rescues ex race horses and helps place them for adoption. The inmates care for the 30 horses at the farm and tend to the pasture grounds in exchange for shortened sentences. And Holcomb points out shorter sentences are cheaper for taxpayers. 116 three month time cuts that we've delivered that has saved the state, the Department of Corrections, money because if they're not here, we're not paying for them. Some will use their newfound skills to work at horse farms or other jobs, like inmate Mike Shelford. I, I like working with the horses. I really like that aspect of it. And then I also like um, just the labor, you know. I mean, when I get out, I'll probably have a labor type job. So I think it's good preparation for that. Others hope the work will help them reconnect with family, such as offender Chris Glaze. I went on drugs heavy, it's just, I didn't realize how much I ignored my daughter and stuff like that. It just I could have been a better father. I was a good father, just I could have been better. Once he leaves the Putnamville prison, Glaze hopes to share his newfound equine knowledge with his six-year-old daughter. After rehabilitation, many of the horses will also join families through the farm's adoption program. For WTIU News, I'm Amanda Soliday. The open house will be held at Putnamville Correctional's Thoroughbred Retirement Farm from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Friday. And Indiana 5th District Congresswoman Susan Brooks introduced a bill which would eliminate pension benefits for members of Congress convicted of felonies. Brooks says one of the goals of the bill is to help restore confidence among the American people and their elected officials. She says everyone in Congress needs to hold themselves more accountable. And here's a look at the weather. Clear skies tonight with lows in the 40s. Sunny tomorrow with a high of 68 degrees. And clear skies tomorrow night again with lows in the 40s. And here's a look at the five-day forecast. For WTIU News, I'm Alex Dierkman.